This is my Nintendo DS, and this is him going for a CT scan. I spent so many hours on this thing, it's crazy. And I still use it sometimes during flights. But this year, something happened. The speakers died. And sound is so important. It adds so much to the experience. I mean... That sucks, right? And you can see other stuff has been broken as well, like this hinge. And I don't shy away from opening devices to fix them. But to go on the inside of the top screen, all these little connectors and stuff, you want to be super, super really gentle with them. Really want to pay attention it's to which each screw goes to. The part that you really need to be super, super it's patient. Such on. a pain if this thing breaks off. So I need a method to look at it inside without even opening it. At first thought, why not an X-ray? You know those images you see of your bones or inside the airport bags. But all the components are tightly packed together. How would it even be possible to understand with a single 2D image if there would be a way to see it in 3D? A CT scan. As I study medical physics, I had to do some experiments with a clinical CT scanner. And I had this very unique opportunity to bring my own object to scan, so I couldn't let this one go. But wait, how does this actually work? Let's start with something we're super familiar about. A normal camera. Light reflects off of the object, and this reflected light goes into the lens. This paper will act as a camera sensor, and let's see what happens when I put the objective really close. And a sensor then captures that light. Uh, radiography is very similar to photography, but instead of using visible light, we use an X-ray source that shoots out X-rays. And X-rays are just like visible light, but the only difference is that they have higher energy. Dense material absorbs more X-rays, that's why the bone is so white in this picture, and soft tissue that is less dense appears darker. And if we take a look inside of a CT scanner, we have an X-ray source and a detector, just like in radiography. The only difference is that it can rotate, and it takes a series of X-ray images from different angles. All of these images are then processed by a computer, and we can then see a cross-sectional slice of the object. Image quality on the CT scanner depends on many things, one of them being the dose given. The higher the dose, the better the image will be. Since a Nintendo is not a human, we decided to give a higher than normal dose for a better image. We're doing a whole CT just for the Nintendo. <laughs> Look, right there. <laughs> uh, he said, please stay very calm and don't move because uh, with these high resolution things, obviously if you move only a little bit, then it's uh, already um, a problem. And by merging all the individual 2D slices, we have at the end a 3D image. The magic here is that we can change the windowing. By changing it, we can visualize different structures. So instead of seeing all the plastic, we can see all the more absorbing metallic structures on the inside. And some parts we can even see the screws individually, and the wires that connect the speakers together. We can do exactly the same with patients. Instead of seeing their soft tissue on the outside, we're able to see more absorbing bone structures on the inside. But there is actually one big downside of using x-rays for images. Because metal absorbs x-rays a lot, we see some image artifacts around the metallic parts. This makes it unusable to see some valuable information around it, creating these bright sparkle effects. This happens with metal teeth, and my Nintendo DS is no exception either. That's why it's sometimes hard to see what it is clearly. I knew about this earlier, a metal object will create a lot of errors, but come on, I really had to see this in the CT scanner. Even though I cannot identify the problem, I found this unique opportunity fascinating, and I will continue playing it, but with headphones.